Good afternoon. I feel uh, very pleased to have been uh, asked to participate uh, in this conference and, uh, and to share a few words. Uh, I appreciate the invitation of the uh, Uzbek Ambassador Lola, uh, the Institute of uh, Astrophysics, and President Morel, and uh, UNESCO uh, representative. Um, it is uh, just amazing to me to consider the, the heritage upon which we today uh, rest as we contemplate the contributions of uh, people way, way in the past. Uh, over 600 years ago, uh, Ullebeck uh, uh, began to ponder the heavens above and to put some order into our understanding of what it is about. And though it may seem a bit crude today, the fundamentals upon which everything uh, that we enjoy today in this bountiful world rests upon these very early fundamentals that came from things like uh, Chinese fireworks uh, and, uh, and gunpowder, the, uh, the principles of uh, physics of uh, Isaac Newton, the understandings of uh, the sky uh, as viewed uh, 400 years ago by the telescope of uh, Galileo. Uh, I, I remember two months ago being on the White House lawn in Washington, D.C. with our president and first lady as they were entertaining uh, young children from around the Washington area and looking through telescopes to see Jupiter and its four moons just as Galileo did 400 years ago. And, and upon these under, understandings of the orbital motions interpreted by uh, Kepler and Copernicus, uh, uh, rest the fundamentals of uh, our day and night and months and the moon and our understanding that even helps the fishermen understand the tides going up and down. Uh, little things like this have gradually accumulated. Uh, I was a young boy in an aviation family and I remember walking out one night and seeing the aurora borealis, uh, the, the lights in the sky. And, and little did I think that, that some 40, 30 years later, I would be able to look down on <laughs> such majesty as the displays of the uh, emanations from our sun and the interaction with the uh, with the belts of magnetism that we have some of us a few of us very fortunate uh, pilots test pilots and uh, academic people came along at just the right time to see the beginnings of, of Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin's flight, and the Mercury, the Gemini, and the Apollo, and, and the wondrous contributions that, that came from uh, international people such as Konstantin Tsiolkovsky and, uh, and Herman Oberth. I happened to meet Herman Oberth on his 90th birthday. My father had, as a physics professor, Robert Goddard in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, and, and I came along and inherited the opportunities to participate in the close-in exploring uh, of the universe around us by, by getting into orbit and being able to float outside the spacecraft. And then in 1969, nine flights 
went to the moon with 24 human beings. And I was fortunate enough to be on the first landing on the moon. What a wondrous universe we have with human beings able to carry out such magnificent feats. And yet when we get to see where we have journeyed, it turns out to be the most desolate spot that you could imagine. Hence the words that I used on the moon, magnificent desolation. 